Hey everyone, so I just wanted to show you the clean slate we have to work with. This is our house and our front lawn that we let die for Halloween. That's how hardcore we are. <laughs> just kidding. Um, the grass just won't grow here if it's so dry, so it works in our advantage. But um, yeah, so I think it's a 30 by 50 feet that we have to work with. And um, there's our neighbor over there and our neighbors over there. So we're just gonna build up and show you guys the progress as it comes. All right, so the first thing we got done is a train depot. And this is a pain because the ground is so uneven. We had to shim it up, but it came together really nicely. So on to the next thing. So I wanted to show you what we do to assemble our facades. Our neighbor helped us earlier, so I didn't want to film because I'm sure he didn't want to be on camera and YouTube. But um, so what we do is we take all the pieces and we drag them out and we make sure everything's there first before we get halfway up and then go, oh no, that post isn't there or the part of the roof isn't there and then have us hanging and leave the other one while they're searching for whatever they're looking for. So the undertaker is going to go right here in the middle of the yard and we have the two deck pieces and we have some back walls right there and then all the other pieces laid out right here. The doors, the windows, the top of the roof and then the other roof right there, those pieces, and the sign, and then those actually go to another facade. Um, we just had to bring them out first because they were blocking all of this stuff. So I just wanted to show you that, and now we are going to start putting together the Undertaker. Hey guys, I wanted to give you an update today. Uh, Chris and I have been busy working on fixing the Undertaker. And everything looks pretty much the same right here, but if we go on the side right here, you'll notice we put another corbel right here and another one right there. We did it because this path is so sloped that it just seemed kind of dangerous to us. So Chris is working on the fascia board right now, and that's just a front board that goes in front of where we shimmed. So I think it's just going to be like a black piece of wood right there. And um, I wanted to show you actually this way. Um, this is a side of the Undertaker, and I painted the other side brown already. And Chris ripped a bunch of strips for me so I can match the front side. And I'm painting all the ends right now. I rolled them brown. So, hi Chris. Hi. <laughs> and uh, now I have to go and do the other side. Just those clean nicks right there. And that'll take me about two minutes. And then I'll show you the back. Right in here. Chris has made sure everything is strapped in there really nice and tightly. It does wiggle a little bit, but we're working on fixing that right now because we want to make sure everything is safe and secure, whether it be wind or kids running around or you all know how that goes. So this side is brown to match the front and all I have to do is just put kind of like a, a really watered down wash of black over it and then we can staple and shoot the strips on and then it'll look like this matchy 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 so matchy. you want to tell them what you're doing i kind of gave them a brief little thing so there's a slope on our front yard so we had to shim i was hoping we didn't um so we shimmed a little bit and now i want to hide those so we're going to add just a little bit of a fascia board to it so I cut a little strip and this will just go right underneath here 
nothing too fancy. Mr. Ancy Pants here. We were supposed to uh, work on our next facade, <laughs> like building the next one, and he's like, hmm, I think I'll put the general store up. <laughs> so it's hard to vlog. It's getting harder to vlog because we're just going, 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 and then I'm like, ah, I gotta get the camera out. So. So this is the back end. The back end. The back end. It needs a front. <laughs> Do you guys all know what this looks like? But not in our yard. Hey everyone. So. There is the train depot, the undertaker, now the general store is up. And I have to show you an update because we're getting ready to put another facade up. As you can see, Chris and I put a little fence up. And yes, I know people can just hop over it, but we're hoping that that deters people from at least walking straight into the yard for now. Um, it's just temporary. And we just don't want anyone, you know, to walk in and trip or whatever. So there's a little little barrier right there. I'll get an up close shot for you guys. Cross the street, look both ways. There it is. You guys remember, right? <laughs> um, here's the little the little horseshoe, and then we uh, just been tying that on there. And uh, I think that worked out really well. We found these old poles on a Craigslist thing. Gotta love that. And then, this is from that crazy estate sale we went to. We found all these leather horse parts and we strapped and screwed and wired and twisted them on there. So hopefully no one walking by. Although I have no idea why somebody would take this other than to just be cruel. but. They're on here, and as of last night, I don't know if you can even see, but cobwebs. Woo! Not ones we put, ones the spiders made. <laughs> so yeah, these um, these are on here, really good. I mean, of course, there's leather parts or whatever, but this is strapped in there really well. And then here we go. It's crooked which is awesome. Nothing in this yard is flat. It's all at an angle, which just adds to the enhancement of the ghost town, right? <laughs> all right, guys, there you go. Thank you.